Miss Kulkarni here. So, let's talk about a different class of medicinal drugs. That's called opiates. And how did we get that name opiates? The history of opiates goes back to the natural source. And guess what? And it was opium poppy seeds. Now, these opiates became very popular because their primary use was strong analgesics. So we saw aspirin and paracetamol were mild analgesics, but if somebody is in much more pain, then they need a stronger analgesic. And that's where the opiates came to function. Now, opiates belong to a family of compounds in organic chemistry. They are called as alkaloids. And to make it easier, I can tell you they have multiple rings in the structures and they all contain nitrogen. So remember how an alkali may look like. Now here is one important term. Opiates are also called as narcotics. So what do we mean by the word narcotic analgesics? Apart from pain killing properties, which they all have, they can cause some severe, sometimes even irreversible, dangerous side effects. And we will talk about that in a while. They can be all also very addictive and patients can get dependent on these medicines. Here are two examples of two popular opioids. This is morphine and this is codeine. You can clearly see the structures for both these compounds look almost identical except morphine has an OH alcoholic group here and codeine has got OCH3 which is called as a methoxy group and in fact it is extremely simple easy method in organic chemistry morphine can be treated with methyl iodide and the simple mixing and heating these things together can replace that hydrogen from hydroxide or alcohol group by the methyl group and we end up having a methoxy compound which we call as codeine. All right, let's compare now the action of morphine versus codeine. As you saw, they both are very similar except morphine has an OH hydroxyl group or alcohol group and codeine has a methoxy group. That makes the big difference. It changes the polarity. Morphine OH group is more polar and methoxy group of course is less polar. So what happens? Because of polarity, medicines will pass through the blood brain barrier differently. So the polar compounds will be soluble of course in water than the non-polar compound. So morphine is soluble, it dissolves well in water, it gets into blood but it cannot pass through blood brain barrier easily because of its polarity whereas codeine is less polar and that makes easy pass through blood brain barrier and once it passes through the blood brain barrier it can actually get hydrolyzed back to morphine which is the active compound so therefore codeine is also called as a prodrug so what is a prodrug it is a precursor of an active drug. Here is one more analog of morphine. Dimorphine are also named as the drug heroin. Both OH groups for morphine are substituted by ester groups. This is morphine with both hydroxyl groups and both are substituted by ester group. And how it is done? It's extremely simple reaction. So look at this. Morphine is treated with acetic anhydride and pretty easily it can be converted into dimorphine. So what do you think will happen about crossing through the blood brain barrier? Morphine has got these OH groups which makes it highly polar and over here we got ester groups so that is less polar. If it's less polar, it's going to rapidly pass through blood brain barrier. With this easy quick pass through blood brain barrier, 
the action of dimorphin is extremely quick instant and that can be a disaster so in fact dimorphin or heroin is a control substance here is a snapshot of all these opiates morphine codeine and dimorphine in the center we got morphine look at all these three structures don't you think they look all almost identical yes the core structure is almost similar but the only difference we got here is that OH group of morphine it's change to methoxy group we use methyl iodide for the reaction and for dimorphine both the hydroxyl groups are converted to ester groups but everything else remains same so what does that tell you just simple modification of side chains of any medicine can change the properties dramatically. I guess you got some information about opiates and I'm sure you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.